Okay, over here at Nomadic Cooling, we keep in stock 12, 24, and 48 volt Victron inverters. Victron actually just came out with a brand new Victron uh, Multi Plus uh, 2. This is the brand new version. It comes with a new form fitting. It's a little bit more uh, user friendly on the outside. If you're using it in an application where it can get wet or humidity, it doesn't have the buttons on the front plate like the old version of it does. It also uses half the standby power of the traditional uh, Multi Plus. It really comes down to form fitting of what works in your vehicle. That's the way I look at it. If you're not running an air conditioner, a 110 air conditioner that is, you probably could get away with a 2000 inverter. You don't really need the 3000. Now the 3000 inverter does charge a little bit faster after shore power. This is the 48 volt version of it. Okay, let me put this right over here. I'll go right like this. This is a sample version. This is the 48 volt, but it's about the same size and everything for 12, 24 and 48. We typically still use this in our overlanding applications instead of the new version because of the actual form of this. We don't typically pick it based on the, the nuances between the two because this actually fits really well above or next to your real, your real <laughs> rear wheel well. Anyways, this one fits great above that. We've been using this a long time. Uh, the, the other version is just taller, it's thinner. It really depends on where you're gonna be placing the two for van life. Based on price alone, you'd probably be better off just going with the 3000 because it's only slightly more expensive. You may go with the 2000 based on just the form factor alone. I myself am gonna stay with this version for a, for a little while. I know it does use twice as much standby power, but for where it fits in my van for my electrical system, it just takes up the least amount of space and it's pretty user friendly. Um, guys, so if you need any more information, we're gonna do a more in-depth unboxing about all of these a little bit later. I just wanted to put these side by side real quick to show you really the size difference between the two and why the size of the actual inverter may be the most important thing for where your design is gonna go. Both of them have a wall mount. Now you do wanna remember that the heat goes up from these things. So you need airflow underneath it and you need air going above it. Now you don't wanna put this in a solid enclosure. You need the hot air to get out. Anything inside your electrical system that produces heat, you wanna get the heat out of there. Now I know it's a little crazy, you may be blowing the heat right into a hot van that's already hot or maybe even hotter than your electrical system, but not much you can do about that. 110 in, 12 volt out, 24 volt out, 48 volt depending on the size that you do. And most of you are gonna be okay with a 2000 unit if you're going completely overland. Like I gotta be honest with you, if you're overlanding, you're never in a rush to plug in. Okay, you plug in, you leave it, you go for a nice little, for a coffee, go for a little cocktail. When you come back, your batteries are typically full. So if you need any more information about 12, 24, 48 volt Victron inverters, multi pluses, go over to nomadiccooling.com. We have a lot of information for you. Guys, let's go further together.